second. Hello guys, welcome back to 18th part of the Arduino tutorial. Today we'll be discussing about the concept of PWM and at the later part I'll show you how you can control the brightness of the LED that is the LED fading program with this PWM concept which many of the beginners will be searching for. Using PWM not only just the LED brightness we can also control the speed of the DC motors which is required for most of the projects. So we'll be covering also that in the next coming videos. So this is a 12 volt DC gear motor. There's a power supply in which we have options of 12 volt and 6 volt. So at 12 volt this motor will be at its high performance. So if I connect now it rotates at the maximum speed. Suddenly if I change it to 6 volt. As you can see the motor speed will decrease that is because the speed is also proportional to the voltage supply so if you want this same thing to happen inside the circuits you can use the pwm concept and based on the duty cycle you can achieve the required voltage at the output so this example you can relate it later with a code in the concept so moving on to the concept PWM stands for pulse width modulation also you can call it as pulse duration modulation if you consider any of the square wave you can able to see two parts that is the high part and the low part this PWM concept directly deals with varying the duration for which the wave will be at the higher part this is known as duty cycle so if you consider a waveform, this waveform, so here, so this will be the time axis and this will be the voltage axis. So one high and one low will be the one time period. So we'll consider it as T. So this is one period. So as I told before we have to concentrate only on for which the wave will be at higher part. So consider the time period will be 10 millisecond. So in that the high part is approximately 6 millisecond and the lower part will be 4 millisecond. So now we have to calculate the percentage at which the wave is 1. So this will be 5 volt in Arduino. This will be 0 because the operating voltage will be 5. To calculate the percentage of this part, it is 6 out of total 10 into 100. So which gives 60 percentage. So the duty cycle of this wave is 60 percentage. So similarly, we'll consider for other wave. So just consider here the time period is 10 millisecond and this is for 5 millisecond and this is for 5 millisecond so it is half and this 5 volt and 0 so here if you calculate the duty cycle it gives 50 percentage so this is 50 percent duty cycle and this is 60 percent duty cycle so now i'll tell you how the duty cycle relates to the voltage that we are getting at the output in Arduino I told the pin voltage will be 5 volt so what we have to do is we have to multiply this 5 volt the maximum voltage with the duty cycle that's it we get the final output voltage that is delivering to the load to calculate that I'll take V out is equal to the maximum voltage is 5 into here the duty cycle is 60 percentage that is 60 by 100 so it gives 3 volt so if you provide a signal of 60 percent duty cycle in 5 volt you get 3 volt at the output so if you consider here you can easily guess if the duty cycle is 50 percentage you get half of the voltage that is 2.5 volt you can calculate easily like v out equal to 5 into 50 percent 
so it gives 2.5 volt so finally from this video you can clearly understand how the duty cycle and voltage varies as the duty cycle increases the voltage also increases at the output before moving on to the code the components you need for this video are an Arduino Uno board and an LED so usually when we use LED with an Arduino we use the digital pins and the output will be either on or off that is 0 or 1 but in case of PWM the output will be usually analog signal since the output varies between 0 to 5 volt based on the duty cycle so there are particularly 6 PWM pins on Arduino Uno board so that are indicated by analog signal so you can see 3, 5, 6, 9, 10 and 11 so among these 6 pins you can connect to any of the pin here I am connecting it to 11 so moving on to the coding part here we have used one LED bulb that is connected to pin 11 so I will declare it as int since the LED's output device will declare it as will make it as an output using pin mode so in case of normal LED blink program we use the digital write function to turn on LED so LED 1 comma high and to turn off LED we use it as low so this is in case of normal LED on off so as I told before the PWM signal outputs an analog signal we can't use this digital write function there is an analog write function for PWM application so that is analog write so here we have to give the pin or you can directly mention it as LED 1 and here we have to mention the duty cycle so this duty cycle I'll show you how you can range so I'll comment it just for showing the difference I have written this so usually in PWM concept in particular Arduino the PWM duty cycle ranges between 0 to 255 here 0 stands for low and 255 will be high so in between this you can vary at whatever percentage you want so here if I give the duty cycle as 255 the LED will be at its maximum brightness so I'll show you once we will make it as 255 so I'll give some delay see the LED is at its full brightness so if I give it as 0 it will turn off yeah so uh, we'll give some random value we'll give it as 100 so it will be not at its full brightness now the brightness will be somewhat reduced see as you can see the brightness is lower compared to before so if you reduce we'll make it as 20 and try see it's too low now so this is how the PWM is used to control the brightness of the LED by varying the duty cycle at this particular point now we will directly move on to the fading logic where we have to continuously loop the duty cycle values for that we need for loop so I'll make one for loop for increasing order and another for decreasing order so it starts with 0 and the maximum value will be 255 so this for loop so here it will be i yeah. so this for loop 
takes LED from zero to it to its maximum brightness, and we have to add one more for loop to decrease the brightness from maximum to zero. So for that, I'll add another decreasing for loop. So here it starts at 255, and this will be same for here. So this is the fading program. We'll upload and try this. So here we'll reduce the delay. So just 50 is enough. Otherwise it will take more time. So now we'll upload and see how it works. Yeah. So as you can see the LED is fading but there is lot of delay so we have to reduce it even more. So I'll give it as 5 so that we can see the difference easily. Yes this is perfect we can see the difference now. So this is all about the LED fading program which many of the beginners will feel difficult initially. So I hope after watching this video and you will get clear with the concept and you can understand easily. So this concept we can also use it to control the speed of the DC motor which will be coming up in the next video. So if you have any doubts please ask us in the comment box below. If you are new to our channel you can refer to all our audio tutorial videos. You can get in the description box. Thank you for watching guys. We'll see you again in the next video.